chatting with infectious disease specialist and microbiologist at the Jewish General Hospital, Dr. Leanne Parks. Dr. Parks, hi. Hi, how are you? Doing well. So before we get into the three things that you feel we need to consider, why don't you just remind us how this virus spreads? Have we learned anything new or are we still dealing with the same situation that we have been for the last little while? I think, unfortunately, we're still dealing with the same situation that we have been for the last little while. What we do know is that the virus spreads predominantly through close contact droplets. So my secretions going through the air and landing on your face holes, so eyes, nose, and mouth. And if we can break that chain, uh, then we stop transmission. Got to break the chain. Now, the first thing that you'd like people to consider when thinking about safe socialization and social distancing in the workplace is to speak up. Why is it important to speak up? Yeah, so we're all human and we all tend to err because that's what humans do. Um, Myself, what I generally recommend to those around me is just to tell me if I'm doing something incorrectly or if I'm letting my guard down. So I get them to give me reminders if my mask isn't appropriately applied or if I'm taking it off to take a swig of coffee, but I'm within two meters of a person and my nose and mouth are directly facing them. At all times, sometimes we just need that helpful little nudge to remind us to, to maintain our social distance or to maintain our our mask or ocular protection on correctly uh, throughout our workday. Second thing to consider, talk about the importance of not breaking the bubble. Yeah, so our bubble is really important uh, to the point where I've uh, started to think of it as this like magical sphere around me um, that I don't allow other people into. And I, I tend to feel a bit um, intruded upon and naked if I if I have the the mask off and I'm out and about with other people within my my bubble. Um, so at all times, it's super important to always maintain that that distance of between us and other people. And sometimes that can be hard because our physical space is pretty small. Um, but we can take some very creative means to ensure that we always maintain two meters distance because no matter what, um, that's going to really be that extra layer of protection above and beyond our mask to prevent us from getting sick and from us making other people sick. And the, uh, the third thing to consider, and, and this is a tough one because it's been a really long haul and, you know, the end isn't quite here. So how do we go about fighting pandemic fatigue in terms of keeping distant in the workplace, especially in those situations where you may be a little bit more prone to letting your guard down, going on break, having lunch, uh, going outside with colleagues? How do you go about fighting that fatigue? It's so important. Yeah, it's super tough. We've been doing this for nine months, um, and we might have several more months ahead of us. Uh, And it's really difficult to constantly be on, to constantly be on our guard, thinking about how best to protect ourselves from the threats that are around us. And sometimes when we're taking our break, we want to take a break from that that sense of, of, of protection. Um, but that's really when we might be most vulnerable. Um, so we really have to be cognizant and always think about uh, maintaining our social distancing, maintaining our masking during those break times as well, because the virus uh, doesn't take a break during those times. Um, what I've been telling people is to do what I prefer to do during lunchtime, which is to Netflix and chill alone, uh, which is just me, my food, no mask, and uh, my phone, which is streaming favorite drama at the moment, which is The Crown. I like that uh, a really smart doctor told me that I can watch as much Netflix as I'd like. That's, I mean, that's all I took out of that. (laughs) I think that's some really, really good advice. So again, the three things that you got to remember all the time, you know, uh, make sure your hands are clean, proper hand hygiene, uh, keep that mask on, of course, and, and proper physical distancing. So important, especially as we're talking about now in the context of, uh, of being in the workplace. A lot of people are back in the workplace. You have to make sure you don't let your guard down. Great, great advice. Love those three things to consider. Uh, It's complicated, but I, I think if we all, you know, if we all focus, we can all do it. So uh, Dr. Leanne Parks, microbiologist and infectious disease specialist at the Jewish General Hospital. Stay safe. Thanks so much for all you're doing. Much appreciated. Thanks. Take care.